All right, everyone, how you doing? It's Aaron here, founder and CEO of 28 Games, or uh, Mr. 28. Hope you can see me well. Uh, I hope your weekend um, has going to end on a positive note. Again, it's bike week here. Uh, so that's going on. That's going to go on until uh, Father's Day, which is the 16th, uh, next Sunday. Uh, but it, it's been a while. Uh, it's been about four, five, six days since I uh, got another a video out. And this one's going to be really, really important. Uh, so I just got... I just got back to, from the ATM and uh, quick run to Shaw's, pick up some milk. But I want to make sure that I got this out there. And it's something that's really, really shocking. If you have been following up on my journal entries, I post a lot of them every single day. And again, I don't I don't mean to do that intentionally, but it's uh, showing you my story, my journey, and what's real. Uh, my version of GTA 6, which is what I call Agent, because you see uh, I hashtag Agent all over the place with, with everything every aspect of my life. And then there's there's a point to that. But uh, what I wanted to tell you was that very, very, very unfortunately, uh, after my mother celebrated my uh, uh, my cousin's husband Brandon's 40th birthday um, at their house, and where my mother had a wonderful time, she was great, um, my aunt for Mass was there, my other cousin was there, my cousin Jessica and Samantha were there. Uh, my other cousin Emma was there. Everyone had a blast. Everyone had a wonderful time. And I, and I even connected with my with my uh, aunt Sherry, uh, who who's from Mass. I haven't talked to her in a very long time, so I was like, oh, it's so nice to connect with you again. But my mother comes home, uh, sits down on the bed here in my bedroom, and I see a sticker on her uh, left arm. It says visitor number five on it. I'm like, okay, what what's that for? And she kind of leaves it up to imagination, my imagination, and then she tells me that my aunt, Patty, tried to commit suicide by taking 17 sleeping pills, and I couldn't believe it. I, I just thought, there because one of my aunts uh, in 86, 1986, committed suicide by overdosage. And I'm telling my mother, said, that's, that's, over, that's, it can kill you. And it's, she just kept the words. I just couldn't write. It couldn't register. It didn't, didn't register in my mind. My aunt, my aunt Patty, my other aunt, tried to commit suicide. Now she was supposed to go to the birthday bash, uh, to Brandon's 40th birthday, um, but she didn't. She didn't because she was a little bubbly on top. Uh, she had a little, a few too many. So uh, we went over to her apartment. We were gonna pick her up. I was gonna take her and my, my mother uh to um to my cousin Samantha's which isn't too 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 far out. I mean, yeah, I was a little bit shabby on you know on the on the road map, but I got there, I got there, I got back fine, I didn't get lost, anything like that. Um but it just seemed like something just didn't seem sit right, you know. All my my uh aunt's friends were over at her apartment and we go over there and it's like, okay, this is different. Uh it was different to change of plans. Sure enough my mother comes out uh, she tries to go next door to uh, uh, my cousin Samantha's son Michael's house. Yeah, his name's Michael. Yep, his name's Michael. And she sees if they are home, so she can deliver a crockpot. Because we've been trying to deliver a crockpot to him for a long time. We haven't been able to do that. And my mother said, oh, we'll do it. And I said, yeah, we'll do it eventually. So she comes back to the car and says, Aunt Patty's not going. She's not going. She had a few too many. Uh, you know, uh, her, you know... Your cousins, uh, Jessica Samantha, let her, let her have it. And, uh, uh, yeah, they, they weren't too happy about that because they wanted her, uh, I can't say too, too much of the reason why, uh, my cousin, one of my cousins was upset, but it's besides the obvious reason. But, yeah, she basically said that my mother's choosing her friends over us and, uh, uh, family. And my cousin is the type of person, she carries the blood of my mother. Uh, all I'm gonna say is, if you have, if you have either my father's last name or mother's last name, you either are a few things. Stubborn, tough, and you don't take shit. I'm just telling you straight up. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm, uh, and you get better with temper, too. Uh, mostly everyone in my family has a temper. And I'm telling you straight up, I don't like that at all. But it's one of those things where it's a strong family trait. And, you know, it's, it, it's... They're just strong family traits in my family. Uh, so my mother was telling me this, and I, I'm just like, okay, is she at the hospital? Where is she? And my mother says, I mean, went to the hospital. Uh, my Uncle Stanley, which is my aunt's uh, aunt's husband. Wait a minute, my aunt's, yeah, aunt's husband. 
aunt's husband, she's telling my mother up and down, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for going to check her out at the hospital. She was in the, she, not to check her out, but see how she was at the hospital. Uh, because the mindset was since my aunt threatened her own life, she was going to go to the annex. The annex is a psychiatric ward, uh, pretty much a holding, it's a holding zone uh, in, in, a, in a hospital. So she was admitted to the annex. And uh, when my mother talked to my aunt this morning, my aunt seemed fine. It seemed like she was drugged up a little bit. You know, they put her on something because uh, that's what they do at a hospital. They'll pump you full of pills. And my aunt said they didn't pump my stomach. Now, I understand it is that's basically a way to get all that out, all the pills out, all the, uh, you know, all the, the effects out. So they didn't pump her stomach. So um, that was allowed, all that stayed in her. She took 17, 17 sleeping pills. And that's a good way to kill yourself. OD overdoses. Trust me, I know very, very well because in my little medium sized city here, it happens all the time. And it's not the only city that it happens in in my state, but it does happen. Uh, so, you know. My mother was telling me this last night. Uh, I, I just, I, I couldn't believe it. Uh, I couldn't believe it at all. Uh, maybe I wasn't a little bit too shocked because it does run on my mother's side of the family. And then, you know, it gave me peace here and my aunt this morning when my mother talked to her before I got her off to work. My mother, you know, she had uh, what's called, oh no, she had regular today. So she worked uh, 1130, 730. So I'm going to be picking her up soon. You know, it's 712, so I'll be picking her up soon. Uh... But it, it gave me peace to hear my aunt, but it, it it's like, okay, she wants to check out of the hospital. Does she want to check out of the hospital? She wants to check out from reality, check out from the world, you know? So it's like now, uh, is that a freaking mosquito? No, it's not. I thought there was a mosquito. It's a little bug flying around. It's like now she's on watch, you know? You know what I mean? And she's got to start therapy again because it's a, red fl it's a cry for help. As she said accurately, as my aunt said accurately, it's a cry for help. And you gotta, you gotta, when that happens, you gotta do something about it. Or someone's gotta say something before something happens. And I know this very, very well with my own mother, because she's been in and out of hospital since 2021. So when you have experience like that, you could help someone else with their experience. So that's why my mother was there by her side. She said, look, I'm gonna walk home. My uncle said, nope, nope, I'll drive you home, which he did. He gave her a ride back here. And I just think, you know, it's definitely been on my mother's uh, mind. She was very busy today. She didn't text me like she usually did, but or does. But it's, you know, uh, the weekend gets really, really busy for her. So that that's probably the reason for that. But I'm going to make sure she takes her pill and make sure she's all good and well. But I wanted to tell you guys that that's just another thing that I've dealt with. Uh, I want to turn to the investigation, which is going on with this check. Uh, it's my understanding that they have uh, doing the investigation and they're keep, they they uh, have a lead, and they're keeping an eye on a certain point of interest. As to what that point of interest is, I don't know. Uh, I'm going to be very, very honest with you. It, it wouldn't be far-fetched to think that uh, a huge sum of money like this was stolen, or the, as my contact said, the track was thrown off. Uh, so I'm hoping that you know this can be can be found out uh, as soon as possible because I, I I do really need this money, and I'm just. You all know my story. Uh, this is what these blogs are for. This is why I do this, you know. To And my mother's totally okay with me talking about all this stuff. I asked her last night. She said, yeah, it's fine. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell you about my story and journey. But, yeah, that's where I'm probably going to end it right now. So my aunt tried to commit suicide. Uh, she's doing okay now. She should be out of the hospital tomorrow. You know, I obviously want my mother to check on her. But it's like, after my grandmother was just diagnosed with colorectal cancer... That's not something you want to hear. It's not something that this family needs, especially because uh, my other aunt committed suicide after graduating college, 86, overdosed. And uh, if you have a situation like that, please get your loved one, friends, relatives, whatever the case may be, get them help. Don't let them suffer in silence. That That's what I'm telling you right now. All right, so I'm Aaron, founder of CEO of 28 Games. Crazy, ambitious, cleverly historic, or Mr. 28. Be well, be safe. Have a great rest of your weekend. Stay in the fight. Stay tough. I've got some stuff on uh, 28 too. I hope you're going to look at my journals, obviously. My journal entries. I'm doing some uh, parodies of other uh, Sesame Street characters. I'm also doing The Simpsons. I'm going to call them The Nelsons. Well, I just I thought that was really cool. I started with Bart and Lisa Simpson. So Bart's going to be called Bradford, uh, Bradford Dumas. 
as so it sounds like dumbass. Get it? Uh, oh no, I'm sorry. Andrew Dumas, Andy uh, Nelson, and then Lisa is going to be called Lila, Lila Nelson. It's an anagram. An anagram is when you can take an existing word and turn it into another word. So, Lila comes from my sister, the short for my sister's name, which is Allie. Lila Allie. Get it? So, I'm, I'm, I, you know, I, I really am uh, taking this seriously and trying to be original and, you know, I'm working real, real hard. So, I hope you see my stuff. Uh, uh, Mr. Centennial, I hope you see my stuff and appreciate it. I'm working very, very hard here and I'm going to keep working. I'm going to keep me in uh xx or 28 or mr 28 getting more known as mr 28 all right that will be it thank you so much be back with plenty more and uh yep uh the best yet to come you remember that all right thank you so much for watching take care now bye bye